the past 20 years, the island of Tabiuni has produced 70% of the Ndalo crop for the Fijian Islands. Today though, many of the Ndalo trucks are half empty. The use of the, the wrong chemical fertilizers and deforestation has taken its toll. Due to its depleted soils, roughly half of all Ndalo crops are found to be rotten. This leads farmers to clear more land through the use of harsh herbicides that further deplete the island soil and cause erosion and deforestation. Yet in places, the wild forest can still be seen. Here, the continual shedding of leaves produces a rich organic soil. It is these natural processes that Tete Tavuni hopes to restore by transitioning farmers to organic manures. Before we use chemicals, but at uh, that time we saw the thing uh, good day. Eh? When uh, you have a big patch of ndalo, you can just clean the thing within one hour by just spraying yourself. But now, till uh, in in this block here, I have uh, almost 15 years in this block here, and uh, the fertility of the soil, I know really dropped very quickly. The more we add on fertilizers, the less we get. So more expenses and less return. So when uh, this uh, input came in uh, with the organic farming, tried to change the fertilizer we've been using. We've been using it for, since two years now, we found that a big difference. So that's why I'm really going after this kind of farming, organic farming. Dalo here before was, uh, you know, they got uh, what you call it, uh, they got a uh, fungi or something like that, the, uh, the dalo. And uh, many, when I, if I plant here 1,000, I just can get only about uh, half of the thing, maybe 500 like that, the rest all rotten out. But now, I never use the chemical here. I use all organic uh, manure. No, the soil, I just smell the soil now, the different, the thing uh, smells sweet like that. Yeah. Just before the thing uh, stick or something, not smell good, eh? Mm. Now I can smell the soil, I smell uh, sweet now. Bricks readings are taken to check the health of the plants. To perform the test, one takes a bit of leaf and squeezes the juice onto a refractometer. The reading of the instrument measures the amount of sugars in the plant, or sucrose. The healthy plants grown with Tete Tavuni's organic manures consistently show higher readings. So since you don't use uh, sprays, uh, Matia, what do you use to control the weeds? I use my brass cutter. If uh, it's uh, going to bad weather, rain like that, I just weed with a knife. Just a knife. We are doing a compost farming, it's for the first time here. So the idea is very new to us. It's quite an effective way of planting and a better way of using our land. Because uh, normally we would look for bigger spaces to do, transfer the garden. Whereas in this way we can keep planting in the same area, just keep, just keep changing and feeding the compost pots. And that's one of the biggest advantages that we have uh, discovered in this uh, compost farming. Dalo Pezengo, fish mills are Tengo, then Yuria, then Konasara. Liu is a Tindo Tabonongo, the Tays in the Mbulas and Tilangas are Bonongo Sangasi. Gosanga is a couple of triangles at Tilan, Dalongo Sambula, Bosina, Kitomalangi, Bontakanga Bonongo, fish mill. Then I got a watch of Bonongo, Mete Tale. Yeah, this is uh, uh, four months of age. Eh? Before, I used to pull uh, six to seven months. Yeah. 
but uh, now I use the that uh, the fish meal. Fish meal. That uh, fertilizer, the fish meal. It's it's a bit different now. Uh, before uh, it's uh, not uh, so big, eh? Yeah. Like uh, this one, eh? I have to wait uh, for six to seven months. Then I can get to this size. Before we using uh, NPK, but we find uh, it's hard mouth soil. We find that uh, we better switch back to our grandparents' method. They never using chemicals, but now we are using chemicals, which is um, uh, all the biology in the soils and the soil texture. Too. We are on, still on trial now. What we are going to see now, we are still on trial. And we are going to move on to large scale uh, vegetable and fruit trees farming later on. That's what we are doing. And uh, the important thing uh, is the refertilization of the soil. It's the important thing that we are trying to do when we move on to the large scale business. That's only a very small place. How many things you can plant within there? Eh? There are capsicum, the coriander, uh, the long beans, the French bean. Inside there, it's uh, ginger. Underneath, uh, just only a small block. Uh, you have to plant so many things in one block. Uh, every bit of plant, you don't have to have to plant. Eh? You make use of it. Better eh? what you have seen. Here. Latai is one of Tete Tavuni's most faithful workers. She has been using organic manures for a couple of years now. I've actually been through all the manures that we have there. It's a 14 frost pot plus fish meal and lime. And they all seem to have done well. Since using this manure, it's going on the second year now. Somehow or other the problem has just disappeared without even not even thinking about it, but just using the right stuff or maybe the right manures and everything else. When we pulled the demo plot, there was more worms. Worms was one of the things that caught our attention. There were more worms that we'd seen in, in a long time. And coming out with the taro itself, I've actually cut right back on using sprays and stuff on, on the land. They'd kill the worms, and that was that's really what was happening all along. We were killing the life of the soil, and so we weren't getting anything back. Using a few simple methods, such as weeding my hand, applying fish meal, and other organic manures, the people of Tawuni are actively restoring the health of their soils. Using these safe organic manures, Kids may now help in the garden without the fear of poisonous chemicals. They play with worms. They learn from their parents because their future is the most important reason to save the fertility of Tavioni soils. Through workshops in the villages and classes in its resource center, Nite Tavioni is sharing its knowledge of biological farming to preserve the health of the island soils and to benefit the future of its farmers.